In this video, I'll show you how to easily add brands to your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight into it. For example, I'll show you how to allow customers to filter products by a particular brand. So for example, we can filter our products here. We can also create a brand directory so customers can quickly find all products in various different categories by their favorite brand. On a product page as well, we can also make customers aware of the particular brand. So here you can see this is Nike and it will also add a brand tab here in this additional tab section. We can add a short description for the brand and also a brand logo as well. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, I'll leave a link in the description below to the plugins that we'll be using. Using. And if you're interested in creating this brand section without any plugin or we're just using custom taxonomy, I'll leave a link on screen to that particular video. To add brands to our store, we're going to be doing it using a particular plugin. So we'll head over to plugins, then add new, and then we'll just search for brands and we'll just use one of these plugins. So since we've installed this particular plugin, let's go ahead and configure it. So we'll head over to WooCommerce and then settings. And then here we've got this brands tab. Okay. So we can customize the brand slug. So by default, it's at a brand. And in here we get to choose the brand logo size. So it's a thumbnail or format. And in here we can also choose a brand's page as well. So to do this, we need to actually create a page and then just name it brand. All right. So we just click add new and then page and then we'll say brands and then just publish. So later on in this video, I'll show you where to get the short code from to add. Later on in the video, I'll show you where to get the short code from so you can sort the brands um, in alphabetical orders and in a few different ways. All right, so let's head back over to our dashboard here. Let's refresh this page. Since we've just created that brand page, we can actually assign it here, okay? So we'll say brands and then let's hit save changes. Okay, so we'll just click on documentation so we can get our short codes for later on. But the first thing you'll notice is when you go to products we've now got this brand taxonomy okay so we can go ahead and click on this and we can enter in our brands here as well as the brand logo as well so for example we can say something like like okay and we can add a custom image for it as well we can also add some description about this particular brand so let's go ahead and assign a product to this particular brand so we'll go all products and for this particular product here we'll click edit and then on the right hand side, we will see that brand's custom taxonomy. And here it says Nike, because that's the only one we've added. We can add more brands here as well. So we could say Apple, for example. Okay, and then we can just update this particular product. Okay, so let's view our product page. So here underneath our categories and tags, we've got the particular brand here, which is Nike. And then here we've also got it in this additional tab section here, okay? All right, so let's head over to our shop page. Okay, and since we are organizing our products by brands, it makes sense to also allow customers to filter products by brands as well. So to do so, we'll click on customize and we'll go widgets and then sidebar. Okay, then we'll just search for brands. And then here we can show it as a drop down. We can show it in a list or we can allow customers to filter by a brand as well. So it's totally up to you. Let's go ahead and allow customers to filter by a particular brand. Let's hit publish. I should note that if you want to add more advanced filtering to your WooCommerce store, I'll leave a link on screen to a video which shows you how to create an advanced filtering option for free. We've added our brand filtering here. Let's go ahead and test this out. Okay, so we can select our brand here. Let's click apply. And then here we're seeing all the Nike products, all right? So we can remove the filter as well. And now we're seeing everything. If you remember, we created a brands archive page. So if we go to brands, we can see this particular page here and it's displaying blank. We need to add a bit of short code to show our brands here, okay? So let's head over to the quad layer documentation. All right, and then here we can click on short codes and then we can display our brands in a carousel. We can show only specific brands or we can show all brands or we can even sort it by A to Z, all right? So I'm just gonna copy this short code here and let's paste it on our page. So let's hit update, let's preview the page. And then here we can see a list of all the brands that we've got on our store. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below.